Well, here it is a rainy day, and Sandra and I made a wise decision on not going to a county. We're not going to tell you what county it is and where we're going to go, but uh, we'll save that for another trip. So we have got the Squatch nestled down in its little house here, and uh, we have decided to do something else today. Um, I've always had many things on my bucket list, and one of them is to consume some raw milk. And so we got our coolers together, and I've had Sandra bring up some information about raw milk. I've never had raw milk before. Never drank it. Sandra, have you had raw milk before? No, I have not, but my mom has. Her mom has had raw milk. and uh, But we have never had raw milk. I've always wanted to taste it. What does it taste like? I've heard so many stories, so many different things. The lady that we are going to go get some raw milk from, uh, she told us to make sure we kept it cold, so that's what we did. And all I want is a glass of milk. I want a glass of milk straight from a cow. So we have decided to drive to South Carolina, York, York, South Carolina. York, South Carolina, so I can get me a glass of milk. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to get three gallons, but... Um, Sandra, I need you to tell the folks, the friends, some facts about raw milk. So okay. tell us what you have found out about it. Okay. So raw milk is a living food, um, which means that it has and milk's natural components include beneficial bacteria, food, enzyme, food enzymes, natural mm -hmm. vitamins, and immunoglobulins well basically what i get from what we found out we researched some of this now i'm not saying we know all the facts about this but from what we have found out whenever milk is processed and pasteurized and pasteurized especially when it's pasteurized and heated up and we learned a lot of this from uh the place we just finished going to brown creek creamery mm -hmm. brown creek Cream creamery if you want to check out um those pictures on that uh but uh, on our Facebook page, but they kill a lot of the enzymes. Mm -hmm. It's the enzymes and the good and the bacteria. Back, and the bacteria yes. But I'm telling you what, I got to looking into raw milk and, and even some areas on YouTube, doctors and stuff that usually post, they're just about every food there is. It seems like there's something bad about it. But this one doctor um, on YouTube, he does a lot of keto diet type stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but he said that raw milk was one of the best things you can drink, mm -hmm. and um, and it's good for your digestive system. Yes, it's and, good for your gut health. It's good for um, the the homogenization. So store bought milk is pasteurized and homogenized. The mm -hmm. homogenization breaks down like the cream into where it's incorporated into the milk. Yeah, this the cream is going to be on the top, but it's what what they do during homogenization. It crushes that those fats which changes them so actually raw milk is better for your cholesterol than store yeah milk. it's got um omega yes it's got omega it's got omega, omega three fatty acids um it's so it's it's got um good trans fats in it um it also has vitamin a k and e and water soluble vitamins like c and b complex vitamins mm -hmm. um all many of these vitamins it says are destroyed they're delicate and destroyed by heat. So whenever they pasteurize it, they destroy those. Yeah, and what we have found out is that the reason you're saying, well, why are you going to South Carolina? Because you can't buy it in, in North, North Carolina. Carolina. North you Carolina can, you is... You can buy into a herd share in North Carolina where you buy into a local farm, buy into their cows, and then you can buy milk from that farmer. That is legal in North Carolina. And go... There's not a lot of farmers that do that, so we found one that's so, somewhat close to our house, but there's a wait list. Yeah, yeah. So that's the reason, guys, we're going to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, we did look into it. You can herd share, 
and it's so much per year. It's not that much, no. you know, 150, 160 bucks yeah, usually. And what, you're, what you're paying for is the health of the cow. You're paying for them to feed the cow. You're paying for the vet for the cow. You're paying for that stuff. So that's why it's legal in North Carolina because mm -hmm. you're, it's, it's basically you're getting milk from your own animal. I got you. It, I got it's you. It's kind of like it. They, they kind of like, um, eventually that's what I want to do. Yeah. If everything works out and we end up do liking it, but um, it sounds like to me, I don't see why I wouldn't. I drink a lot of milk. I probably go to two, three gallons a week just here at the house. And the stuff that I'm drinking is not nearly, it don't even touch the surface on how nutritious and tasting. It, they said it's delicious, absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. But it it also lasts longer. It lasts longer. And it also, people that are lactose intolerant um, can drink raw milk because that what happens is when the also when they pasteurize it and they, they take the lactase out of the milk mm -hmm. which is what lactose intolerant people need that lactase to be able to digest the milk yeah and that's why you have to take lactate or they make the lactate milk or whatever mm -hmm. that they put it back in but raw milk already has that in there and so they can drink Lactose intolerant people can drink raw milk. Wow. We're going to try it, guys. We are going to try this out. It just seems like every time you turn around, there's something that we're drinking or eating that is absolutely horrible for us. And people for thousands of years had either eaten it or drank and never had any issue about it at all. Think about milk. Mm -hmm. And even the Bible says that whenever God brought the Israelites to the land of Canaan, he says, I'm bringing you in a land that's flowing with milk and honey with milk and honey you know if milk was so bad why did he say that you know well the doctor that we watched on youtube that was talking about the benefits of drinking raw milk he said when they started pasteurization of the milk and stuff a lot of people were getting sick and dying but yeah it was because the sanitary conditions of the cows the cows weren't being fed a good diet so the milk wasn't as good and it they was, ended up getting tuberculosis, I yeah, think. Yeah, and, and so that's when they started pasteurizing. But people that have raw milk and sell raw milk, they are ultra sanitary because they don't want to make people yeah. sick. So they're super clean. And, I, you know, if you're, if you're selling it, they, ha they have to meet Yeah, standards. that's the reason why they hope that the whole pasteurization, pasteurization started mm -hmm. is because they were not keeping the cows and the whole processing of it and clean in, in a clean environment and sanitary environment, which mm -hmm. causes tuberculosis. I think that was one of the main ones, which they ended up, uh, excuse me, because of that, they ended well, up and there heating is it up. Like e. coli and things like that. They're that in, in raw milk before they pasteurize it. But like I said, again, we're buying it from a small dairy farm that that's what they do. And they are very sanitary. Yeah. So, so. we're going to go there. We're going to have to drive about an hour to do it. But just like with anything that we, is something that we really want, <laughs> we got to put yeah, a lot of effort it. into it. It's not like we can go around the corner and get it. And so, but guys, we have done a lot of research into this and we looked around. We have looked, we went online. I got, we got up with personal people that we know mm -hmm. and there's nobody guys that we can get this from right now or in the future. Um, you either have to be put on some major wait list or nobody knows. They don't know of anybody that, that does it. Or um, the places are so far that we can drive to York, South Carolina and not have to be in a herd share because there's not, there's nothing close around us. Yeah. And it's costing uh, $10 a gallon. Yes. $10 a gallon. And, um, uh, like I said, uh, if you look on the map, I, I actually, if you went on, um, on, you can go online and find out the states that do allow the sale of raw milk. Most of the states in North, excuse me, North, most of the states in the United States allow raw milk to be sold. Mm -hmm. North Carolina, it amazes me, but North Carolina is one of the states that does not allow the sale of raw milk for human consumption. Yeah. We are going to Tucker Adkins Dairy Raw Milk Farm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. In York, South Carolina. Yep. Okay, guys. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check this place out. And uh, once we get it, I'm not sure if we're, if we're going to video anything when we're there. I kind of doubt it. Um, but once we get it, we're going to get a gallon for Austin, our mm -hmm. son. And we're, we're getting two gallons for ourselves. But we're going to show you when we get back, we're going to show you what we've learned about it and how we are to drink it, and we are going to taste test this stuff. Yep. And I will be able to mark this off my list. 
Okay, we are here. Here's some moo cows here. And I saw some moo cows out in the driveway. And so, but there is Mr. Chicken sitting there saying, come on, buddy. But guys, we are here in York, South Carolina. At the Tucker Atkins Dairy Farm. The Tucker Atkins Dairy Farm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to see if we can procure us several gallons of milk raw milk not pasteurized ain't done nothing to it straight from the cow and that's it okay we got it this is the milk we went ahead and got four gallons figure we're gonna make the trek out here might as well do it um i'll say this <clears throat> At first glance, it reminds you a lot of eggnog, the color of it. It's very yellow. Yeah, it's very, uh, 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 yeah, the, 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 you can tell just by looking at it, it's thicker. Of course, the cream is shown to be up here. Um, I don't want to get it out of the ice here because they really stressed us on, on keeping it cold. And so, but we got four gallons of raw milk right from the cow. And uh, so we're going to take this home and give it a little taste test. And the guy, the young man that that we got it from, said that if you want to put it in your coffee, you just take some of the cream, right? Yeah, just just take, right just pour some of the cream right in your coffee, you and so you don't have to shake it up or anything. But if you want to drink it, you want to shake it up. You want to shake it up right before you drink it. So, of course, guys, we're novices. And so, <laughs> but we're going to try some of this good stuff. 